from New Sky Kids, this is Little Hero News with Stan Stallion and Stephanie Seabiscuit. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Seabiscuit. And I'm Stan Stallion. In local news, a man was fired from the city calendar factory today. When asked why he was fired, he said all he did was take a day off. Speaking of unnecessary jokes, prank shows have captured the nations for decades. Here's kooky correspondent Hank Tootlegoop with our very own original prank show, Hanked. You just got Hank. You probably thought I was sleeping, but I was only fooling. <laughs> Don't worry though, you're not the only one getting Hank today. Let's go Hank some chains. <laughs> I disconnected the pipes, therefore the sink is no longer functional. <laughs> you got hanked. Hanked. <laughs> just kidding, I'm totally fine. You just got hanked. <laughs> for that new prank segment. Hanked. Oh, that's what that was. Thanks, Hank. Let's check in with our sportcaster, Tom T-Bone, to see what's kicking in the world of sports. Tom? Hey, sports ball fans! It's your boy, Tom T-Bone! So, a lot of sportscasters just sit around and talk about athletes, but you know what I think? We are the athletes! So today I'm here with fellow athlete, <laughs> Piper Payne, and she's gonna teach us how to play a little known sport known as tiny tennis. <laughs> well, actually it's called ping pong or table tennis, but yeah, let's get started. First, let's talk about equipment. Each player will need one ping pong paddle. Okay, so that's a tennis racket. Ping pong paddles are a little bit smaller. Right on, right on. Here, I have an extra. You can borrow mine. Okie dokie. Next, we'll need our ping pong ball. On it. Okay, so that's a soccer ball. Ping pong balls are about the size of a golf ball, but much lighter and filled with air. Wait, like a balloon? Dude, I love those things! Except it really bums me out whenever you accidentally like go of one and it floats to space. Well, you don't need to worry. These guys won't float away on you. Ready to play? I've never been more ready to do anything in my entire life. Okay then, I'll serve and you just hit it right back to me. The goal is to make sure it goes over the net and it's my side of the table. Got it? Got it! Okay, <laughs> let's, let's just make sure you keep a tight grip on that paddle. <laughs> let's try again. Just make sure to keep a good grip on that paddle. Ready? Wait, where'd my paddle go? <laughs> you just got hate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness sake. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Well, if you're all out of dessert ideas after the holidays, look no further. Here's culinary guru, Candy Cane, with some creative and easy dessert recipes. Thanks, Stephanie. So folks, if you're tired of pumpkin spice desserts like I am, Oreo Dirt Cups is a fun and easy recipe that takes less than 10 minutes for you to prepare. And joining me today to help me make these cups, the very own prank star extraordinaire, Hank Tittlegoop. You got hanked. Okay, Hank, food goes in our mouths, not our noses. Okay, so first we need our basic chocolate pudding. I like to use the store-bought, but you can also use homemade pudding. Next, we'll need a clear plastic cup. Hank, can you hand me a cup, please? Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> the 
This is a hammer. Yeah, I handed you a hammer instead of a cup. <laughs> you got hanged. Hanged. You got me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So once you have the cup, you want to pour in the pudding like so. Next, we'll need the Oreos to act as the dirt. Can you hand me the Oreos, please? <laughs> yeah, I can hand you the Oreos. Hank, this is a movie. I asked for the Oreos. <laughs> I know, and I handed you a movie. You got hanked! Hanked! You'll want to make sure to pound up the Oreos into a powder to make it like dirt. Pull the Oreos into the pudding. It's time for the gummy worms. Hey, can you hand me the gummy worms? Yeah. <laughs> this is a slaw. I know! And you asked for gummy worms, and you gotta hang! Hank, <laughs> I'm serious! I know you love jokes, but this is my show, and I get frustrated when you don't take me seriously. <laughs> Sorry, Candy. Uh, it's just I tell jokes and do pranks to make people laugh, but sometimes I realize I can take things a little too far. I I'm truly sorry. I forgive you, Hank. I know you love jokes. Thank you for your apology. Well, Stan, I guess no dessert is sweeter than forgiveness. Well, cookie dough ice cream comes awfully close. Well, that's it for Little Hero News. I'm Stephanie Seabiscuit. And I'm Stan Stallion, reminding you that the real hero is you. Click to subscribe or watch more videos.